I think it's really easy to think, okay, we're, we're here sitting in this, you know, giant bubble and what I do doesn't necessarily affect, you know, anybody else and what they do. Something as simple as throwing away a bottle of water can have implications. It may be just one, but it adds to mountainous landfills like this one. Imagine if that was reduced by 80%. According to the city of Tulsa, it's possible. As they say, 80% of household waste is recyclable. Sustainability is all about being intentional. It's not about being perfect. So you don't have to do everything right all the time, but you're going to get better at doing it the more you're thinking through your process. Morgan Fairley is part of Tulsa's Sustainability Alliance, helping green country stay green, going so far to develop an app allowing people to keep score on their sustainability. You know, more than 400,000 people call Tulsa home, and between all of them, there's a lot of stuff that just gets thrown away. As for where it goes, Mayor G.T. Bynum offered some surprising numbers. Right now, 95% of everything Tulsans throw away at their homes is either recycled or converted to electricity. We're one of the greenest cities in America when it comes to household solid waste disposal. The city of Tulsa says 112,000 households recycle. In 2023, the city recycled 354,000 pounds worth of items. What that says to me is that the city of Tulsa is definitely prioritizing recycling as, as something uh, that it is offering to reduce waste, right? Now, recycling's not free. In fact, cities across the country have stopped it altogether because they've lost money. Tulsa, meanwhile, is upping the ante. This year, we negotiated a 15-year contract with our trash energy plant that will keep us in this leadership position. It's a long shot, but maybe these landfills will shrink in the decades ahead. Brody Myers, 2 News, Oklahoma.